Hello everybody and welcome to WAFC Slammiversary and if you don't know what Slammiversary is, it's to commemorate one year of WAFC and to show our gratitude to our fans, we went on over to Instagram and made them choose which wrestlers fight in which match. And for this first match, they voted for CM Punk versus Adam Cole versus Kenny Omega versus John Cena in a ladder match for the vacant WAFC Live World Championship. If you haven't watched WAFC Episode 9 or WAFC Live Episode 9, you've got it because Jay White confronted CM Punk about getting all of these title shots and Jay White hopes that CM Punk will win just to take the championship away from his grasp. So, will CM Punk win this match and will Jay White get his rematch? We don't know, or technically not a rematch, just a regular match, but you know what I mean. We have a great other two matches for you here tonight. The, the next match after this will be Brian Danielson versus the world champion AJ Styles in a submission only match. And the, the main event, the next match after that, will be Kyle O'Reilly versus Pete Dunne versus Johnny Gargano versus Buddy Murphy in a fatal four-way a ladder match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Cruiserweight Championship match, this will be to crown the first ever Cruiserweight Champion. But right now, this is for the WAFC Live World Championship for the vacant, may I add. Because the former champion, the first ever champion, was The Undertaker. But then he got injured, so now we have to form or crown a new champion, my bad. But you've got to be reminded that MJF is Mr. Money in the Bank. So will he play a factor in this match? Will he cash in? We do not know. It, we have to see. And now Adam Cole here. He is kind of a wild card, may I add. He hasn't really had any championship matches. The only championship match... Or he, has, he hasn't even been in a championship match. This is his first ever one. But the only time he had a chance to be in one was in the first... Or... If you want to get technical, the second ever episode of the WAFC Live in the main event, whoever won that match will face The Undertaker. And Seth Rollins won on, went on to win that match, but he failed to win that championship. I call Adam Cole a wild card because right now he's feuding with Kevin Owens. And in a best of seven series, may I add. And by the way, if you haven't checked out those matches, go to that right now. The first match took place in WAFC Live episode 9 in the main event. So if you haven't, go check that out. And the second match took place on APW Collision's YouTube channel in our collab show, Fighter Fest. And if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him. He's an awesome guy. Like I mentioned, we are live from the Arthur Ashe Stadium. And right now, the franchise is coming out. As you, the, the champ, or the soon-to-be champ, that runs the camp. But will he be the champ? We have a lot of great competitors. We have Kenny Omega, we have Adam Cole, we have CM Punk, and we have the legend, John Cena. Will he win this match, though? Because, like, again, I just said, oh, CM Punk from behind attacking John Cena. And CM Punk and John, or CM Punk just battering John Cena. And now CM Punk, oh, smashing John Cena's face in the corner. And now sort of an old rivalry renewed for these two men because Adam Cole and Kenny Omega used to be bitter rivals. But now, I'm not sure what's going on between them. I haven't seen them talk behind the stage. Oh, sends CM Punk almost out of the ring. If this was the Royal Rumble, he'd be eliminated. If you do not know, the Royal Rumble is our next pay-per-view. Sorry, I blinked out for a minute there. Now Adam Cole bring the boost, looking for a springboard. Just see the spear! Spear to the outside! That, I don't know who got hurt more in that situation, John Cena or CM Punk. Now Adam Cole looking for a suplex, but no, Crossroads! Tribute to their to his fellow elite member, Cody Rhodes. You do not know, he is in a fashion called The Elite with the Young Bucks himself and Cody Rhodes. And now CM Punk, what is he? Whoa, he's grabbing a, a, a ladder. Sorry, I blinked out again. What's that mean? Oh, super kick! Super kick to Kenny Omega, his foot got caught on the ropes. Now Adam Cole scaling the ladder. Will he unhook the championship this early in this match though? I'm not sure. Like I said, CM Punk. Oh, GTS position. GTS fireman's carry. No, a GTS connects to Adam Cole. And I'm pretty sure Adam Cole did just go to sleep. And now a forearm strike to Cena. Now Cena collapsing to the outside. Now sends Adam Cole to Kevin Owens. Not Kevin Owens, Kenny Omega. Oh my god. Okay, 
Oh my god, Spider-Man's carry into an attitude adjustment. No, Punk flipping out of it. Roll through. What is he looking for? Oh, Springboard Stunner by Seda. And I don't know why. I see oh, Roundhouse Kick. I don't know why CM Punk had to flip off that fan. He was just trying to have a good time, but sorry to that fan. But anyway, CM Punk's going the ladder, trying to unhook the championship. And now Adam Cole, he's back. And oh, flipping kill, oh, flipping CM Punk. And just, you know, it's a drop kick to the ladder, squishing Punk in between the ropes. And now it's Adam Cole with the wheelbarrow German suplex to Cena landing on that ladder. I, I bet CM Punk got hurt there too. And now Adam Cole gonna set up the ladder, but Kenny Omega from behind with the Kataro Crusher onto that ladder. That must have hurt the rungs of the ladder. Oh, look at this face off. Dream match for many. Oh, low blow by Omega. Omega went low. And Omega with the V trigger to the back of Cena's skull. And what in the world is CO Punk? And don't tell me. He's going, oh, a pump kick by Cole. I think Omega was looking for a tope Kong Hero, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Adam Cole. Let's get into the top rope. Oh, he's gonna make a decision between Cena and Omega. Which one is he going for? But I think he's making the decision to go for John Cena. Oh my god! Elevated last shot! By Adam Cole. I, I usually performs the elevated last shot. I, I bet I caught out the elevated, elevated last shot. But CM Punk with a top rope elbow drop onto the apron. That, not a, I know that, not, you know what, I mean, I, no. No, oh, what made Angel by Omega. Remem Omega's gotta be reminded that this isn't a singles match. And if it was, I don't think that would work. Because the only person to kick out of the one legged Angel in WFC is Adam Cole. And now, Kevin Owens looked to unlock that ladder. But CM Punk on the outside with the springboard. Clothesline. And flips both men onto the ground. Both men took a hard fall, no matter if you're... Oh, look for a Panama Sunrise. But Cena, oh my gosh, attitude adjustment position. Little tummy onto the tables. No. Oh, no. Adam Cole reversing into an Oshi Garoshi. And now, CM Punk with the top rope elbow drop. The Kevin Owens, that wasn't even a, a top rope. That wasn't from a ladder. No. John Cena with a top rope leg drop. Now, both all men are piled on top of each other. And John Cena... I think I see the pile moving. I think CM Punk's starting to get up. But John Cena is killing the ladder. I think that'll be it, as I was right. CM Punk is right there. Oh my god, swinging neck. But to Omega. Swing, oh, and a last shot to Cena. A swinging neck breaker by CM Punk. And look at his smirk on his face. Now, where is he looking for? Now, looking to go to the outside of the ring. Look to go under the ring. He's looking for another. Oh, looking for a chair. He's looking to batter everyone in the smash now starting to batter John Cena. Jesus, just laying the chair shots. And now he's going to Omega and he's laying in the chair shots. And now he's going to Adam Cole laying in the chair shots. All men are getting chair shots. Come one, come all. And now CM Punk. For now, he's looking to climb the ladder. I think he might be able to do it. Everyone is down. Wait, someone is pulling on his leg. It's John Cena. John Cena is not letting CM Punk get the championship, but he kicks him off. Now CM Punk and oh, oh, sweeps his left into an attitude adjustment position. But Omega moonsault. And oh my god, double AA position. And remember, this is John Cena's, I believe, in ring debut. Adam Cole, last shot. Oh my god. Last shot to an attitude adjustment. And these fans are absolutely loving it. And shout out to the fan that has a replica TNT championship. Now look at this face off. Look at the shake some hands. Respect between these two. This is what this business is all about. Respect. And look for a collar and elbow tie up. Now I say Cena would have the strength in this. Oh! Headlock takeover by Cena. Now letting go Cena. Looking for the five knuckle shuffle to Adam Cole. And now look, oh, kick to the gut. What is he looking for? Oh, suplex, no attitude adjustment. Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me, attitude adjustment to the stairs. 
Oh my god, this spine of Adam Cole has got to be destroyed. I bet that hit his neck too a little bit. And now V-Trigger from out of nowhere. And CM Punk. Oh my god, this Cena is getting comboed absolutely right now on a Pepsi plunge through the table. Now this is now this is Omega's time to shine. Will he grab it? I think he's going to grab it, but wait, no. It's MJF. It's MJF. He's Mr. Money in the Bank. I told you he'd be here. And now it's his security, MSK. If you haven't watched WC Live Episode 9, MSK have aligned themselves with MJF. Now Kenny Omega is confused on to why. No, CM Punk! Oh my god! Omega lands on that ladder. That must not feel good for his ribs. And don't tell me, not this way, Punk. No, please! He now he's sitting on the ladder and he unhooked! The title CM Punk is your new WAFC Live World Champion. Congratulations to the voice of voice of the voiceless. But what what is this gonna mean for Jay White? Like I said earlier, Jay White wanted a match against CM Punk if he did win this match. So will Jay White actually get his match? I guess you gotta tune in for the next episode of WAFC Live to find out. Valiant effort by everyone in by everyone in this match, but they could not top what CM Punk did. He saw an opportunity and seized it right in that very moment. Congratulations to CM Punk. Next Gen Wrestling, the newest pick fed on the block. We've got a ton of action from all the NGW matches and some cool looking graphics. Check out my Instagram to see all of this content at nextgen underscore wrestling. If you need any help with graphics, feel free to message me and I'll help you out. Thank you for watching this ad and enjoy the rest of WAC. Peace. Great word from one of our sponsors, nextgen underscore wrestling on Instagram. Go check them out and give them a follow. But right now, it is a submission match between Brian Danielson, the American Dragon, versus the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, and a submission only match for the WAC Exclusive Live World Championship. Now, this match can either go two ways because Brian Danielson is a submission technician master, but AJ Styles is more on the cruiserweight side. But AJ Styles is such a veteran that he can adapt to almost any in ring style that he needs to. But if you ask me, uh, it's gonna be a tough one, but I feel like we are going to have a new WAFC exclusive live world champion in Brian Danielson. So I'm gonna have to go with my boy, Brian Danielson. And Danielson coming hot off a loss at Money in the Bank by the hands of Randy Orton. So, and he has no momentum going into this match. So I'm kind of excited to see where this match goes. But AJ Styles did win his match at Money in the Bank between Roman Reigns, John Moxley, and The Fiend. And also in that match, he also ran over John Moxley with a match run. So AJ, so John Moxley is still on a hiatus, but AJ Styles has got to watch his back for John Moxley. But that's not the fact of the matter right now. The fact of the matter is right now, the AJ Styles and Brian Danielson, two of the best wrestlers in the world, are going at it here in WAFC, and they've never faced before. Two of my absolute favorite wrestlers in the world right now. But like I said earlier, I, I am going to have to do, I am going to have to go with Brian Garrison. But again, AJ Styles can, like I said earlier, again adapt to any in-ring style. So it's kind of a 50-50 here. So if you bet your money on AJ Styles, I wouldn't be mad. If you bet your money on Dan Brian Garrison, I wouldn't be mad either. But right now the bell has just rung, and these two are going to face off. This this is probably a face face off of a lifetime. So right now. This match is going to get started as these two men just intently staring at each other, not saying a word, not breaking eye contact, and a call and elbow tie-up right now. Now with the waist lock behind AJ Styles, and now bring AJ Styles down to the mat, and LaBelle lock! LaBelle lock this early, but Styles with a snap mare able to roll down, and oh, Styles looking for a calf crusher! Calf crusher locked in! But now, Danielson are moving in both with a kip up, and oh, look for a Pele kick, but no, oh! Sits down on the leg of AJ Styles and another, another, what's it called, another face off. And now, look to shake hands. AJ will shake his hand again, respect, but again, with the headlock. 
And now looking for a trip attempt, no. And now looking for a big back body drop, but kicks up the shoulder of Dennis and kicked him so hard that his hair tie came off. Now looking for a phenomenal blitz, but no, kicks that arm away. And oh, a roundhouse kick, and oh, another one flips AJ inside out. And now Styles in a perfect position to hit a phenomenal forearm, but Danielson. Oh, AJ flips out and another phenomenal forearm. The first phenomenal forearm of the night. But Styles did absorb some of the impact of the ropes. And you gotta remember, this is not a singles match. So Styles can go for a pinfall, but he can go for a submission. And he has the Muda lock locked in on Brian Danielson right now. It seems like he's getting out of it. Look for a cattle mutilation. He has it locked in. Now Danielson, like I said, he is a submission master. But, like I said, again, AJ Styles is a ring veteran. What, what in the world is he looking for here? But, uh, lock arms and look for it. Oh my god, spinning on Prettier! Spinning on Prettier! Again, this is not a singles match. But if it was, I feel like he would have put Danielson away with that move right there. And now, looking for a springboard 450. A springboard 450! And he hits it. But I feel like that was a pretty dumb decision by AJ Styles because in a sub I feel like in a submission match, you gotta deplete the oxygen of your other opponent. But I feel like AJ Styles just tuckered himself out with that 450. So was that the best idea? No. But did Brian Dan but he but did it get AJ Styles in perfect position? Yes. But Danson did get out eventually. Now looking for another shoot kick to the chest. Now looking for a hip toss, but Styles slipping out of it in an arm drag. Arm drag by Styles. And now, oh, has him a fireman's carry, looking for a Ushiguroshi to Brian Danielson. Now stepping on that calf slash knee of Danielson. Now banging his knee against the mat. And now what is he looking for? Oh, a single-legged Boston Crab. What ring of, not ring awareness, what veteranness of AJ Styles known to target the leg of Brian Danielson, trying to take advantage of that calf pressure submission that he has. And to my knowledge, I don't think he's ever used the calf pressure once in WAC. So AJ Styles gotta pull something deep out of his arsenal to win this match. Now starts the drop kick to the face of Brian Danielson, staggers him. And oh, a Busaiko knee! A Busaiko knee from out of nowhere! Well, well, I forgot this wasn't a, um, a single match, but oh! Guillotine locked in! A guillotine! Like I said earlier, AJ Styles has got to deplete the Brian Danielson's oxygen. But since AJ Styles went for that 450, Brian Danielson knows to take advantage of that and he locked in the guillotine. And now Styles in a predicament. He, will he tap or will he fade out? It's either one or the other. Look at AJ Styles. He's doing something with the knee pad of Brian Danielson. Oh, he's pulling it up. Oh, battering it. Just punching that injured knee slash... Yeah, I mean that injured knee. But Danielson still has it locked in, will not let go. Look at Styles. Oh, he's taking off the glove. Oh, now he's punching the knee. Great ring awareness by AJ Styles knowing what to do. Veteranness, that veteranness in him kicking in. And now Styles on the outside with Brian Danielson with that injured leg of his now. AJ Styles taking off. The elbow pad looking to put more damage on that phenomenal forearm. Now throwing it aside. Now Dennis in the perfect position for AJ Styles to hit it. Phenomenal forearm and coming with Busaiko knee! Busaiko knee flipping him inside and out. And now both men are down. I don't think any of them are getting up for a while. And now this drone shot by a drone man. Forgot his name, but that's not really important right now. Sorry, I didn't know if I was running him backstage. What in the world? No. It's Bobby Lashley. It's the Almighty. He's Mr. Money in the Bank for WFC Exclusive Live, but MJF is Mr. Money in the Bank for WFC Live. But right now, Bobby Lashley's coming out. Will he cash in? If you didn't know, Slurman Bobby Lashley is forming an alliance right now. But will Bobby Lashley cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase? Right now is a good time. If I were and I cash him right now. But it looks like he's not going to as he is not in a hurry. He's not in a rush. Now Danielson telling Bobby Lashley to get the hell out of here. It's his match. 
Styles. Oh my god, Pele kick. No. Now Janderson with those shoot kicks. The chest of AJ Styles trying to stagger him. And oh, looking for the head kick. But no, Styles ducks it. And oh, look for, he has him in a pump handle position. Look for the pump handle gut buster. The, who is that? I didn't even notice him right near me. A hooded figure, who could that be? We do not know, neither does AJ Styles. But Danielson looks to take advantage of the waist lock and a German suplex to AJ Styles. Now Brian Danielson finish off with that head kick like he did earlier. Now Danielson looking to send him into the corner. And what is Danielson looking for? Looking for those drop kicks in the corner. There's one. Oh, Danielson getting up. Hits the turnbuckle. There's two. Oh, will he hit the third one? Will he go for the trifecta? Phenomenal forearm! Phenomenal forearm from out of nowhere! AJ Styles with that bare arm doing more damage. Oh, a calf crusher locked in. A calf crusher locked in. A calf crusher. Will Danielson tap out? I think he's going to. He can't withstand the pain. Oh, will Danielson tap out? We're getting a close-up shot. I think he will tap. And he does. Danielson taps out to AJ Styles. Danielson kicking out, but he has not. Danielson tapping out, my bad. But he has nothing to be ashamed of because he put up a valiant effort and he would not give up until the very end. He kept fighting until the very end, but he could not withstand the power of AJ Styles. Great match. If that doesn't get a five star, I don't know what will. The AJ Styles on the top row telling everyone, telling the world that he is world champion. But now, AJ Styles and Brian Garrison, eye to eye moment again at the end of the match. Styles holding his hand out. Will Brian Garrison shake it? And he doesn't. I get that. Brian Garrison's come with all of the emotions, but he has nothing to be ashamed of in this picture perfect match in my eyes. APW Collision. Now another word from our sponsors, another great one, APW Collision. If you haven't checked him out, go go do it right now. He's an amazing guy. But right now we are focusing on Buddy Murphy versus Kyle O'Reilly versus Pete Dunne versus Johnny Gargano in a fatal four-way ladder match for the cruiserweight championship to become the first ever cruiserweight champion. And now Buddy Murphy. If you don't know, he's been on a roll recently, again, on the APW Collision YouTube channel. He did beat Kenny Omega in the main event of Night 2. And look at him, he is freaking Jack, man. I mean, look at him. One of, the, one of our strongest, fastest cruiserweights in our division. If not the strongest wrestler in our whole company. But now Buddy Murphy has got to set his focus on the title up above, which is, again, the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, will Buddy Murphy actually do it? Will he win the championship? We do not know. But right now, Kyle O'Reilly is going to come up right now. And now, Kyle O'Reilly, we haven't seen much from him except the tag team matches he's been in with Bobby Fish. But we'll, you don't know. You never know if he will win the championship or not. You do not ever doubt Kyle O'Reilly. He, he is one of our strongest, fastest strikers in our company, just like Murphy is with our, with our cruiserweight division. But Kyle O'Reilly can match up with anybody. He put him against The Undertaker, he'll have his number. Put him against Sheamus, he'll have his number. Against CM Punk, against Samoa Joe, against Edge, against anyone you can think of. Kyle O'Reilly might have the upper hand with his quick striking, with his quick striking ability. Now Kyle O'Reilly getting ready for his match when the Bruiserweight shows up. The Bruiserweight, we haven't seen much from him again. Is she, we all know of... Sorry, Pete Dunne has been 
in the early episodes of WFC, he has been on a tear, but an injury slowed down his momentum. He is returning right now, but will he gain his momentum back by winning the Cruiserweight Championship? We do not know. And Pete Dunne was originally on WFC exclusive live, but he has been moved over to WFC. My bad. He he was originally on WFC exclusive live, then he got moved over to WFC live. So. Again, will Pete Dunne gain his momentum back against these other three men? We do not know. But now, our newest signee to WAFC, Johnny Gargano. Now, we have scouted him on... We have, our, we have You know what? We haven't even scouted him. We had our eye on him for a long time. Even when he was in different companies, we've had our eye on him. We know how good he is. And will Johnny Gargano put his skill and power and strength and speed into this match enough to win we do not know but we will see if johnny gargano doesn't win then i bet he'll be a runner-up now johnny gargano here making his way to the arthur ash stadium here and now johnny gargano getting stepping into a wfc ring for the first time and i bet it feels good as he is here you can see those signs, those people are cheering for Johnny. Now Johnny taking a look at the other competitors in this match. Will he be able to win? The hell, MJF? What are you doing here? We just saw him in the other match for um the WFC, Susa, the WFC Live World Championship match. But why is he out here right now? He's not in the Cruiserweight division. At least, I don't think he is. I hope he isn't. But seriously, why is he here? Like, he doesn't need to be here. Nobody wants him here. We've already seen enough of him earlier in the night. Better than... Yeah, right. Right in the night. Yeah, right. What do you have to say, scum? Cut my music. Cut my music. I know you. all of you are probably wondering, MJF, why are you out here for the second time in the night? You were already here earlier tonight. Why are you out here again? And I agree. I shouldn't be out here right now. I should be in my mansion sipping on martinis, but I'm not. I'm here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. And if you're wondering, I'm not going to cash in my money in the bank contract on this Cruiserweight Championship match. Hell no. But I did get some strings pulled, and there will be a fifth competitor making this a fatal four-way. Now that fifth competitor will be my security. Wesley, one half of MSK. Oh, for the love of God, why Wesley out of everyone? We couldn't sign a new talent. We couldn't have Matt Riddle out here. We couldn't have signed Matt Riddle. Come on. Why MSK? Why why Wesley specifically? Well, I mean, Wesley is a great competitor if you've seen his matches. So I don't blame MJF for bringing him out here. But if MSK have an alignment with MJF, they'd be... At, they'd probably be in a World Tag Team Championship match by now. And, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me Wesley wants to have a face-off against Kyle O'Reilly. No, you don't want that smoke, Wes. You, you don't. No, looking for a swing. But Kyle, oh my god, a suplex. I told you, Wes, you didn't want to listen to me. And now Kyle hitting the ropes, looking to dive to the outside as Tope Suicida. And he hits it. Right onto Wes. Now a flying knee, a bicycle knee to Pete Dunn. Now look at Johnny Gargano with a super kick, but no. Look to no. Oh, has low Murphy with a waist lock. Oh, a forearm smash. Hurricane Rod. Oh, stepping on the hand of Johnny Gargano. And now looking for an X Plex onto Buddy Murphy. Now, oh, kick and oh, sweeping the legs. And now a knee strike right to the throat of Gar or, or of Dunn, my bad, not Gargano. Again, like I said, those quick striking abilities of O'Reilly able to sweep the legs right after that kick. Oh, a knee flipping O'Reilly inside out. But oh my god, O'Reilly getting up immediately. I didn't know he was that. Oh, what? Oh, poor Kyle. He needs to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, Buddy Murphy scaling that ladder, and now Wesley climbing up there too and gets his face smashed on top of that ladder. And a big back, body drop onto Wesley to the ring. He bounced off of that ring mat, jeez. 
from like what six feet in the air and not more oh my god a tornado ddt to buddy murphy and now pete done looking for a bitter end but those elbow strikes and now the cardiac kid I'm looking for a cardiac kick to pete done no he catches him to a rakishi driver and now kyle o'reilly with a discus forearm and that Rikishi driver into that discus forearm, but Buddy Murphy scaling the ropes. Now, oh, a slap to Wesley, telling Wesley to get up, get up there. Yeah, get up there, Wes. And oh, has Buddy Murphy in an electric chair position. But no, Wesley is climbing onto that other ladder. Oh my God, no, a cutter all the way up in the air, a seven foot cutter. That has, but Wesley's back has got to be broken now. First that big back bar drop and now that cutter. I, I just can't believe it. These men are putting everything on the line. You, this is a match we are witnessing right now. And oh my god, Gargano with a one final beat. One final beat through that table. One final beat through that table. And now everyone in this match is done. If there's anyone that's close to getting up, it's probably Kyle O'Reilly. Now, Ky oh, what? Oh, come on, MJ. Yeah, you already been here. I was, you, you know what? Get, get out of here. Oh, there we go. Out of here. Oh, but Wesley taking the bullet for MJF, and now MJF takes that opportunity to get the hell out of there. And now Adam Cole following suit, and now Buddy Murphy getting up. Will, will he? Will he actually win this match? I mean, I wouldn't be mad if he wins this match. And now Murphy. Looking to scale the ropes. But Johnny Gargano. Oh, super good ladder. Oh my god. Misstep on the rope. Goes through my table. Goes through my table right in front of me. Like right at the bottom of my feet. That is me. And now Murphy just laid out. Now Wesley looking for a cardiac kick to the back of the head of Gargano. And now O'Reilly scaling the ladder. And oh, Wesley in the corner looking for another cardiac kick kind of a drop kick. oh my god o'reilly whoa wait o'reilly technically has the cruiserweight championship in his hands he's won the match it's official kyle o'reilly's your new and first ever cruiserweight champion congratulations to kyle o'reilly he's bringing a whole he's bringing home gold to the undisputed era Thank you guys for being in this life to whoever's watching. If you're in this life, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for supporting WFC for over this past year. I appreciate you all and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Kyle O'Reilly brings home to the Undisputed Era. Congratulations to Kyle O'Reilly. See you all on WFC Exclusive Live Episode 10.